Hello, this is Audrin and I'm in a group with John on this distributed assignment. And we did this um, messenger um, application for exchanging messages. And I'm going to go through uh, how, how the application goes. And we used the Derby as a database to store all our informations. So we have our client table and all the tables here. Okay, and now I'm gonna run the server. Okay, so there's a new setup which you can uh, set up the host name, port number, you, uh, the database URL, database name and password yourself. But if you're gonna set this up, like you have to change it on the client side. So now we only have one database which is the default database so I'm gonna just load the default one and I'm gonna run the client now so this is the client and I have no client in my database at the moment so it would show me an, an error message when when um, I try to log in with a user which is not existing so I I have to register I'll just put everything as A here. That is easier for me to test it out. So I have everything, username, password, re password and email, it's all A. And now it starts the application and it says successfully registered, you're now logged in. And then we have the notifications here, which shows you the friend request. And if somebody adds you or you get uh, your friend with somebody, then this is the message which will appear if you got any message from uh, a friend and then this is the global chat which is uh, available for everyone on this uh, that has this application and you don't have to be friends with each other to be able to chat so you can chat in a global chat room and the friend list is the list of friends that um, you added and of course you can add a friend here by typing the email and then here's the setting that you can change the nickname which we haven't really used it but you can change the nickname and then the this is change password change privacy to change it to public or private and then the logout button okay so i'll log out and log it back in again so i'll just log i'll just run this um i would create four um client a b c and d and i would change A and B to be public and C and D to be private to check um, the messaging and the and the unfriend and refriend um, function so I'm gonna just pause it here and I'll come back to with all the client set up okay so now I have them all created B C and D. Just now I logged out from uh, client A so I'm gonna just log in to A again just to show that the login is working. Now I logged in and now I have my client A, A, B, C and D. I just put it like this so that it's easier to see. Okay and now I'm gonna show you um, the global chat room first that when A joins the chat room and then when B joins it will show at the A and then when C joins it will show at A and B and then when D joins it will show on A, B and C so if I type something here it will send it to three of them and yep so that's just basically it and then I will show you the friend and yep so now I can go setting A and B should be um, public so just leave the private checkbox empty and now privacy update successful and B is also public okay save now it updates the database already and we can check at the database that it's view data and yeah you can see that a and b the privacy is untick here and then c and d it's private 
So now I'm going to add the friend, friend list, so add B. So both of them are public, so it would add straight away. So if I add C, if I add C, then it would, sorry, did I press the right thing? C request friend. So it will send a request and at the notification, it will receive this notification and when you accept it will gives you this play notification like um the way we call it in the in the in the java code call it plain notification so yeah and now a is friend with b and c and c and d are private so i'm gonna friend them c and d that i can show you later that it's working okay so now c and d are friends okay so when a and b are friends they can send message to each other so here we can um to send the message to you can only choose it from the drop down menu here so you can send the message to yourself so you can either send it to one person or two person so this is a one to one message so it's a message to be so when i send the message it would pop up straight away on the b message panel every message has its own unique id so this is one id one and then you can click read or delete so read you can read the message the subject and when you reply it straight away gives you this two set to a and then the subject you can type it yourself and the uh, reply so I'll cancel this so i'm going to show you a message to multiple client okay it's, let's say he has a has two friends so it's b and c so i'm going to send it to both of them so it's one to multiple so it's message to b and c and when I click, yeah, and here it shows the message length. So it's a validation on the client side and also on the server side because if it's uh, over the limit, it would it would show an error message like a pop up error message, and then it won't be able to send the message. Like the message would just would just drop. And then on the server side, if it goes through accidentally, then the server would also validate it. And if it's over 140, it will let it go. So yeah, click send. And then yeah, you can see that on B and C, they both got the same message, but it's ID2 and this is ID3. This is also in the database called messages. So message, I think. Yeah, so they can either choose to delete or um to read it. So here, when I click delete, it's deleted. So now A and B is public. So if I if A unfriend B, they won't be able to add them back again. So I'm gonna unfriend B, and when you click unfriend, the messages will be deleted as well. So when you click unfriend, A and B is no longer friends, and their messages is gone. So if I try to add B back, it won't be able to add be back again so if a and c are friends a and c are friends but if the public one unfriend the private one they won't be able to add it back but if the private one unfriend the public one they would be able to un to refriend again so i'm gonna unfriend it from the private one just to show you so c and a are no longer friends so now if i if i friend a back it would be able to to refriend a but now if i unfriend c from the a a side then i i won't be able to add c back anymore it says not allowed to be friended anymore and c and d because they're both a uh, private user so if either one unfriend each other they would be able to add them back again so c add d request friend oops Okay, so that's the friend request sent and you'll be able to to get the friend request now. So yeah, that's the friend and unfriend part and
yeah the last part is the setting so here we can change the nickname uh enter the new nickname like uh a this is c so i can change it to cat and then password is c so my nickname now updated to cat like we didn't use the nickname anywhere all all of these uh, labels and stuff are all using the email um, this would be a future improvement if you're gonna use uh, improve on the app maybe you can use it on the global chat or the messaging part and then change password this part is to change password so now my password is C and then my new, spa new password be cat and then cat yep so it will be yeah password update successful and if I put in a wrong password like this C and then this it would give me an error message current password enter is not correct or even if the new password and confirm password is different it will it will show an error message so cat and then C and D it will show that new password and confirm password are not the same okay so on the privacy just now I showed you that uh, if it's tick and you entered the password correctly then it would change it to private and if it's untick then it's going to be public and logout the last part is logout which I showed you just now too but it's okay I'm gonna show you again so this is logout and it will bring up the login login um, GUI again so everything we did here is done with the GUI and um, there's future improvement for our application like the profile and we can add status to it or we tried to put in the buttons on the settings for deactivate account but the database is not happy with the foreign key so we took that out just it, it could be for future improvement and then probably we can improve the application GUI with uh, pictures on the buttons or blinking buttons when there's notification and the contribution to the project me and John we started off together and then we divide the uh, the whole project into the messaging part and the settings part so John was working with the messaging and I'm working with the settings and then we combine it together when we get it um, get the code working and then uh, work together on improving both parts and we did the GUI and database together um, and the API yeah I both of us did the API so we know so I know what John is doing on the message part and John knows what I'm doing on the settings part so yeah so that's basically it so I hope you like this video thank you